Fearless mice, do-gooder robots, and doesn't this look cool? Hello again, everybody. I'm VOA's Todd Grosshounds, and this is your daily download. We start today in Japan, where scientists genetically engineered some mice to lose their fear of cats. Look at this mouse. No fear here, and that's because scientists at Tokyo University removed certain nasal cells in the mouse, switching off the rodent's instinct to cower or flee at the smell of the cat. The scientists say this shows fear is genetically hardwired and not learned through experience. Unanswered, however, is what the scientists did to remove the appetite of the cat. Why didn't the cat eat that fearless mouse? Now, I don't normally do stories about robots, but this one is different in that I think it holds out some hope for mankind. I'm talking about robots like this one here called Asimos. They can do this, yes, serve coffee. They can recognize drink choices, carry on simple conversations, share information, and work in pairs. They can also monitor and record human activity. Their leaders have sent them to replace a certain group of humanoids. Yes, they're here to take over every Starbucks on the planet. Here we see undercover footage taken through the dark visor of an Asimo, apparently used for training purposes. Actually, Asimos are made by Honda, who showed them off at Honda headquarters in Tokyo recently. So the Starbucks drones are safe for now. Darn it. So you want to escape the attack of the coffee-serving robots? Try this, wingsuit jumping. This is jumper Dave Barlia here in his wingsuit. He gets to well over 160 kilometers an hour. These suits have been around for a while, but the race is getting intense amongst the flying humans to be the first to land in one of these things without a parachute. Land and, you know, still live. When not flying, these wingsuiters like to hang upside down in dark caves. Absolutely untrue, and I think you knew that. We can't do the download this time of year without a Santa story, so here goes. No, this is not a Santa Holics Anonymous meeting. It's a Santa school in Brazil. Look at this guy thinking, yes, you know, how hard can it be? A couple of ho-ho-hos, and what do you want for Christmas? We get it. Apparently, there is more to being a Brazilian Santa. Yikes. And, of course, there's the singing. But in the end, uh, it looks like this school works. It was nearly 40 years ago when these guys started their mythic trip through many a trashed hotel on their way to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Led Zeppelin crashed the rock scene in 1968, and when they were done in 1980, they'd sold over 300 million albums. Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, and drummer Jason Bonner, son of the original drummer, took the stage in the O2 Arena in London last week for their first full concert in 27 years. Kind of takes you back a bit, doesn't it? That's it for the download for now. And remember, you can find the latest news from around the world on our website 24 hours a day, voanews.com. From the Voice of America newsroom, I'm Todd Grossons.